Ah, hello everybody! Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Glen Leathen and the Scottish Farming Series. Oh, that tr uh, van's trying to get past us. Uh, so, we have rolled forward into July, um, so last episode we were just finishing off June, um, so we've rested overnight. Um, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, we got the slurry um, sorted at the farm, we got um, uh, the manure all sorted just at the end there, and then I went on and finished our baling contract. So these are the leftover bales, we've got 21 bales left on here uh, ready for our farm and then yeah I obviously accepted the money for that contract. We then took on another baling contract as well, I can't stop doing them. Um, I do enjoy doing them, um, I quite, quite, quite like doing baling, it's it's quite a nice, uh, nice job to do. So we got another baling contract going, so at the moment we've got uh, baling contract over on field 7 for silage. I've cut the grass there but I've not done anything as far as getting it baled up or across to the BGA. Um, and then we've also accepted a harvesting contract up near our farm here. So it's field 24, so it's up at the top of the map here just uh, next to our farm. It was the field I was potentially going to buy, um, so we're going to harvest in it, it for the for the person anyway. And we're going to leave the straw, straw on the ground and we're going to collect the straw for them. Um, so they're going to, they've let us, a uh, bit of role play here, uh, they're going to let us uh, collect the straw up for them as well. Now harvesting wise there is a lot going on. So um, and yeah I don't want to talk too much because uh, we've not got much time either just now. So uh, let's go up here, sorry. So up here then we have our fields of 33 and 34 and the small oat field to harvest plus our newer field of field 23. So all those need harvesting. Then down at the hen milk farm his field 45 needs harvesting as does the little one here. Okay now the other fields that also need harvesting so for cobbler, cobbler Cobbler's livery, we need to harvest this field and this field. So I've got a fair bit to do, plus there are harvesting contracts available as well. So we've got a lot to do. Now the problem is, if I go down to the weather, it's going to rain at nine o'clock. So at the moment I'm on times half. I'm not going to cheat this too much, so as soon as I've put these bales away, we are going to put the time back up times two and we're going to see how many fields we can do and sort of race the rain basically that's what we're going to do um so yeah i've got a a fair bit to get done today uh, but i think we're going to have to spread this harvesting over a few bits and bobs oh, i've put these in the wrong place haven't i That was not the best of shots, but uh, I'll tidy them up in a. I'll tidy them up in a bit. <laughs> right, let's get these um, this put away, and then yeah, we'll uh, we'll crack on with the rest of this harvesting. The other problem I've got as well, um, and Francois has been good about this. He's um, He's opening up early for us to go and get a header for our harvester because obviously when the thieves took our um, forage harvester they also took our um, they also took our header as well for our harvester. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave that tractor there just now. So we need to jump in this and we'll get this out of here. Try and reverse it out. As you can remember, we uh, got this harvester over the winter. A uh, bit of an upgrade to what we had. So I'm going to leave the. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave. I was going to leave the guard here, but we don't need to because we just need to go and get the header and we can put it on a header trailer. 
So I think what I'll do, I'll crack on with the oat field first. We'll get that one done first, because that's small. And then we'll move across to maybe the fields just next to us here. And we'll get maybe one of them started. It just depends when this rain comes in, doesn't it, really? So, get this round here. Uh, our truck uh, is over by, over up at the BGA, um, filling up with fertiliser as well. So, we need to, we need to get that... Um, collected at some point so we can start moving grain about but we do have our trailer down at the the farm that's been used for manure I can give that a quick clean out so let's see Francois I know he's coming early for us so so headers wise I've got a lot of choices I've downloaded a few as well um so I think we're gonna go for the seven is it seven six point eight I can't remember which one now. That's 10. Yeah, I think it's a 6.8, isn't it? Because that's what we had before. Is it? No, I had that before. I think... Do you reckon we could get... No, we'll go for this. I'm going to go for this one. Get extensions on it. Um, EU version, yep, perfect, and we'll go for, I think we'll go for this one, yeah, we'll go for this one, we'll get this in class colours, there we go, grey's fine, and then class orange, wherever it is, that one isn't it, there we go okay I can't remember the plate on this so we'll just take it off for now yeah perfect, right get that, and that's everything we need so get this loaded on and yeah we'll get down to the farm we'll see you down there I think just to save a bit of time okay so <laughs> The the harvester didn't like to attach to this. It was uh, there was not enough space at the back, so I've just grabbed the tractor and brought it along. Uh, what we'll do actually, we'll go round the other way so we can get this lined up for the harvester, and we'll get this attached. So I've got everything in place. We've got the tractor tractor here with the trailer. Uh, obviously, we're going to get the harvester attached to this. So I just jump out of there, got this. Uh, I've took the guard off the front there. Let's jump up this way. There we go. And yeah, we'll get this along here and uh, get it going. Attach there, and then move this out of the way. There we go. Turn that off for now. Right. So I need to get this unfolded. Now I can't remember whether this is. I think this is straw swath like this. We'll try. We'll soon find out, won't we? Um. Yeah, I guess probably go in this way first. Make a make a bit of an entrance. Let's get the reel down a little bit there. Out a little bit. It's probably about right. And we'll get this turned on. Yeah, there we go. So that is creating a straw swath. And this isn't a big field, this one, so it shouldn't take too long to do this bit. Um, and then we can get onto the bigger fields after that. Obviously our corn has dry grown another dr growth stage. Um, so luckily we've got all we needed to do done to those fields. 
because um, it would be impossible to figure that out now. Um, and then, yeah, everything else is kind of good to go. We just wait for the grass to grow back again and then we can uh, get another cut of grass going. And then, yeah, we'll get these fields done. I've increased the volume of the vehicles um, for this episode, so just as a bit of a test. Um, if you could let us know in the comments if the volume levels are okay. This harvester is quite loud anyway, um, but um, do let me know about what you think. Um, I've just felt that in the last little while that the, the noise can't barely hear the vehicles actually um, over the commentary so yeah I want to get the balance a little bit better but it seems so far that this header is managing or this harvester is managing fine with this header so hopefully we can just keep going with this but yeah good little setup I like it I do like this, uh, this harvester, it's, uh, it's a cool mod. Okay. We'll do, uh, yeah it's quite tight isn't it? We'll go down this end again and then well, it's going to be <laughs> a couple of passes and it's done, isn't it? So that's good. So we've definitely got this field done at least. So yeah, I hope everyone's well. Um, this episode just now, I uh, I am releasing actually two weeks after I've recorded it and I actually haven't been on this map for about a week so yeah um, where I am in the series and what I'm doing on each episode is a little bit I keep having to look back on the previous episode and I don't like watching my own videos but I've been having to look back on uh, my previous episodes just to see where I've been at actually um, and on that I think this oh, this um, the next episode after this one there will be a couple of weeks between them because what I want to do is finish off Zalonka. Um, we're getting a good way through that series and I want to get that finished um, so I can move on to a new one. Um, so the plan is once that one's finished we'll do a bit of setting up a new episode or a new series should I say and the new series I think will be potentially a challenge. I'm looking to do another farming simulator challenge. Uh, Rusty Money Gaming um, uh, set, has set up a brilliant Facebook page um, with lots of challenges for content creators and just players of the game alike and to create um, create new new ways to play the game let's say so lots of different challenges if you've not seen it do check it out there's a Facebook page Farming Simulator Challenges on Facebook and then there's also um, yeah uh, Rusty Money Gaming has got here Discord with all the challenges on it as well um, so there's yeah there's lots to go at and um, so I'm thinking of either taking on one of the challenges many challenges that are on there or potentially creating another one of my own on which map may you ask well there's lots out there isn't there um but um yeah i've got a couple of mind but yeah i'm gonna leave that a bit of a, a secret for now um because yeah i've not fully come up with the full plan for it yet right let's get this header off here so that's the oats done okay does snap on that one which is quite good and then we need to get this emptied so put that like that grab this and the oats we're going to put into storage and um, we don't really need oats apart from the 
horses so we'll feed the horses a little bit um, but yeah the rest can go into storage just now but yeah not a lot not a bad haul off such a small heel field it's not bad really 3600 litres so spin around and like I said we'll put some of this in the horses and then yeah we will put some in fact no I'll just put it all in the silo just now because it's a uh, it's probably easier to use the bucket to uh, go in the silo get a bucket full and then put that in the horses I think so open this up and we'll reverse this in with some very bad reversing there there we go so we get that in there done and then yeah we'll get down to these fields down here next so let's get this all set up what I'll do is I'll set up a bit of a, a montage of this, uh, these fields getting done and then yeah we will leave that there we will yeah hopefully get these two fields done in the time it takes for the rain to come in boing so we'll see you in three minutes or so
Right then, we're into the second field. Um, we're doing okay, it's still only 8.30 in the morning, so playing on double time, so I think that's fair enough. Um, so we're getting quite a lot of straw off these fields, which is fantastic. Um, so we will need to collect this up at some point. I don't think we're going to do it this episode. Um, we'll probably get it done. Um, maybe in the next episode, we'll see. But the, the thing is, yeah, if it starts raining, then we obviously can't start, can't keep harvesting the crops. Um, I said at the start of this series I was going to play more realistically as well, and basically if it does rain today, um, I'm going to simulate that the crop is going to be too wet um, the rest of the day probably uh, to harvest, so we'll have to move on to the next game day, which will take us into July 2, uh, or July the 2nd. Um, so yeah, we're going to sort of play it a bit about like that. Um, straw wise, I could potentially uh, windrow it to dry it out a little bit as well I suppose. Um, but the thing I'm worried about is, well, the, the swaths are pretty big as it is, so if I was to combine swaths it's going to be uh, mahoosive I would imagine. So I think, yeah. We might um, just let it dry out naturally in the wind, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, not even got around a full full circuit of this field, um, and it's it's already full. So it doesn't have a massive capacity this harvester. That's the only thing. Um, so it is filling up quite quick. Um, obviously, we've got quite good yields on these fields as well, which um, also adds to it. But yeah, as I said, it's it's only 8,000 litre capacity in this uh, harvester, so it really isn't that big. But we're getting there. We are getting there. I, I do like this harvester. It's good. Particularly like uh, when you put the pipe out, the class logo comes out with it. That's quite clever as well. I think, yeah, we'll start doing ups and downs. I might actually um, put in a bit of a land here as well, actually. Let's, um, yeah, let's do that. So, if I go up this end, just turn the reel off a second. So if I go up this end, and we'll cut in along here somewhere, probably cut in here, that's going to give us a full length of the field. Like so. There we go. And that way it's going to give us a little bit more space in this field for the tractor to turn around and get around because I had to go all the way around the headland then. So, so if I can get this field divided up a bit I'll maybe do this section first and then uh, that's gonna yeah go gonna open this field up perfectly. Oh yeah all good um we've got a wee monitor in this uh, this harvester 22 degrees Celsius. Seems pretty warm. <laughs> right, that's that end done. Right, let's spin around this way now. We should be able to get this with the uh, completely with the uh, Hard to see. So we'll get up this end. I think by the time we get to that end, we'll be close to full again and we'll get emptied. So, what I'll do is um, I'll continue on with this, we'll jump cut to the end of the field. Uh, we'll get to the end and uh, 
yeah, hopefully it's still not raining, and then we could potentially get across to the hen milk farm, and uh, maybe do one of his fields as well for him. Maybe do the wee one, and then that will be uh, that will be ready, or well, that'll be another one ticked off. I forgot earlier as well. His he's actually got another field that needs harvested as well. There is another field. Uh, which one is it? It's field 39. Uh, I forgot to mention that one earlier. So yeah, and the carrots, the carrot field that he's got, um, will be ready for the harvesting next uh, next month as well. So let's uh, let's get this emptied again. Actually, 94% full. Let's uh, grab the tractor. There we go. Jump in the Axion and get this emptied and yeah, like I said, I'll just carry on and get the rest of this field done. Yeah, it's still pretty tight in there. The other thing as well um, that I kind of edited out was um, the field entrance here. As you saw, I got the header onto the the harvester by bringing the, the header through but I did destroy a little bit of the crop just here as well so what I'm thinking is maybe take out this section of hedge here uh, and that will give us enough space just to drive through with the harvester with the header on rather than having to reattach the header uh, in the separate field because yeah it's a bit it's a bit tricky um, there's really not enough space in this field unless I was to sacrifice a little bit of a uh, field for crop, uh, field for manoeuvring, um, so yeah I think um, yeah I think that's a, a fair alteration to the uh, to the hedgerow, just take that one section out and then you'll be able to get the header through. Right, away we go again. So we'll see you at the end of the fields, in fact we'll maybe no, we'll see you at the end of the field. We'll um, head down and um, get this done, and then yeah, we'll, uh, well, we'll head across to the hen milk farm after that. Okay, final bit of this field going into here then, and um, yeah, well, I've done pretty well. I think glad I've got these these three fields done um, out of our farm, and as I said. Yeah, we'll just keep going until it starts raining, but it doesn't seem very cloudy just now, so I don't know when it's going to rain, but let's check the forecast again. Uh, it's moved on till, uh, uh, yeah, it's still down 10 o'clock, and you see the temperatures are dropping as well, so there's obviously a cold front coming through, and then it warms up again. So it's looking like tomorrow we might have a uh, another window of opportunity to get the crops in but we'll obviously have to wait for the crops to dry out but that's encouraging it's warm overnight as well so that'll start the drying process which is good so we'll get that on there and then uh, just leave this here for now we'll get it folded up I hope so. Right, leave that there. Leave that there for now. And yeah, we'll grab this grain. We'll go and put it away, and then we'll head down to the hen milk farm. So we didn't. We've got was that almost sixty-five thousand liters of uh, barley we've got in storage now. Which is pretty good. So, yeah, let's get down here. What I've done as well is I've loaded up our eggs because we're going to sell them to the milk farm as well. They can have them. Uh, we'll give them to them, and then, yeah, as I said, we'll go and get the the harvest done for them as well. But yeah, still plenty, uh, plenty of fields to harvest. A lot to do still. 
So, let's have a quick look. So in here we have 64,848 litres of barley so far and yeah, what was that? 3,599 litres of oats. So all good. I'll leave this just out just now. Um, we'll need to we'll need to obviously get that top field done. Obviously the contract done as well, and that's all our fields uh, harvested. And then obviously we need to get the straw off the ground as well. So I think next episode we'll probably get the straw off the ground. Um, maybe finish off those fields. I might start them off screen and then bring you in on the next episode when we're like halfway through them or something like that. Uh, but yeah, what I will probably do off screen is get a lot of the other fields harvested. So we'll get the hen milk farm ones done. We'll get the um, cobbler's livery fields done. Um, and yeah, we'll negotiate a, a price for doing those contracts, which will involve us keeping straw as well. So we'll uh, we'll take off a take off the cost for doing the straw as well, or keeping the straw. The one thing I haven't done as well, actually, the one thing I haven't done is I haven't um, paid off. Oh, I haven't paid off our tractor this month either so we'll do that I have been paying it off and um, just obviously our money goes up and down a lot because of the biogas plant and um, so I will have to do that see we've got more cheese there as well so and I mentioned in the last episode that um, container is full so there's 50 pallets there plus the other three that are just there just now so we've got 53,000 litres of uh, cheese sitting there as well so we we'll just wait for the best price to sell that. Thanks for that, mate. Right, let's get in here and down to the hen milk farm. Yeah, so this field needs harvesting on our right here as well. Um, so I think we'll probably tackle those two first and then head down and do the other ones. So. So 4,200 litres of eggs at the current price. Um, what's the current price? Best price is the bakery actually, 2,282. So what are we looking at? 4, 8, 8,400, something like that is probably a fair price for for that. Um, what we'll do, we'll, in fact, I'll do it, I'll do it after, that's fine, but what we'll do, and this is going to take a little bit of the, the magic away, I suppose, so, um, what I need to do is pay off some of our tractor, so I'm going to transfer this to the co-op. Uh, which is basically a generic account. So we need to do 2,500 for that. And then what I do now is for the hen milk farm to pay us, go to that and then go to our farm. And what did we say? We said 8,200 and 8,400. There we go. So that's that paid, and then we go back to our farm. There we go. Right, so that's all the, the finances sorted. Um, as I said, um, yeah, we'll keep chipping away at that tractor, and then whatever's left over, we will pay off at the end of end of the year. So, yeah, the handmilk farmer said we could use their harvester for this, so we're going to do that.
and uh, yeah, this field's tiny, so it shouldn't take too long, even though this is a, quite a small harvester. And this this uh, this grain is going to go straight into the chicken barn because yeah I think yeah he's in need of feeding the chickens as well so we'll get some grain in the hopper for them and then that should keep them going. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that other field there, I might bring my harvester down to help out with it because this is going to take ages with this little harvester. Um, so I might, uh, I might bring down our class harvester and, and use that as well, and then that way it's going to just speed up the process. Oh, missed a bit. And then yeah, with this field. Um, obviously I'm not keeping the crop, but um, Hemlock Farmer said that we can keep the straw, which is always good. You see where I'm going with this now. I'm going to collect as much straw as I possibly can, because yeah, we've had to buy a lot in this year, unfortunately. So if I can uh, beg, borrow, or Deer, as much straw as possible off other fields then that is the way to go and reality is in real life if the farmers not wanting the straw they would either chop it or sell it to someone else anyway so yeah and that's basically what we're doing here so we're gonna be almost yeah buying that straw off this farm instead so I don't see anything wrong with it, really. Just unfortunately on console we can't take straw off contracts. Um, so I think that would be a really good addition to the game, having that opportunity. Right. I'm going to carry on with this field. We'll get this, uh, this finished, the grain into the chicken coop, or the chicken shed over there. Uh, hopefully we can get this done before it rains and then yeah we'll see how far we get along on this game day um, before it does rain. If it does rain though um, what I'll probably do is um, I will yeah obviously sort out our animals I might do a bit of a, a manure and slurry run up to the BGA uh, and yeah, exercise the horses and just yeah, general bit of a, a tidy up um, and get everything get everything as good as I can do really. Right. I think if I just go straight down this bit here and then we can go up and down then. Right. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you are more than welcome to. Slight longer episode this one, but we will see you on the next one. And, yeah. Enjoy, and we will see you all soon. Take care.